how do you even go about trying to help or heal or fix the brain? Parents often underestimate just how important their recollection of events is because there are Uh, circumstances, sometimes even before a child is born, that start to plant the clues as to what might be going wrong or what might have happened. And we have all sorts of technology that allows us to image the brain and its function. Again, like a detective putting all the pieces together and trying to come up with what's the most likely story. And how much of this is like physical trauma versus emotional trauma? Your question is such a brilliant one because it's something that really unlocked a new path of medicine on my journey, which is piecing together all of the psychosocial, epigenetic, environmental influences that go into manifesting what we recognize as disease. And it's relevant in neurology and it's relevant for the host of of diseases that we see across the age spectrum. 